Hi, this is T. Payton with a Final Cut Pro 10 tip. So um, how do you do end titles in Final Cut? One of the things that I think is um, a bit discouraging is when you try to do something crazy like this, like uh, end titles for a film and it just goes on and on and on. And thinking like, oh, how do I do that in Final Cut with a title tool? Eh, probably not the best thing to do um, in Final Cut. Uh, especially when you want to design something kind of nifty like the trend currently to have some production imagery um, or production photos in it as well like this one is. So what I've done, as you can probably see, I've put this together in InDesign. You can do this any other app you want. Infinity um, Designer would work great for this. Photoshop, um, you know, you could also do it in there as well, although you wouldn't have much control over typography um, in there. But you just want a giant flat picture. Um, like this. And this thing is massive, um, as you can see, uh, many, many pixels. Um, if you're going to do this like an in InDesign or Affinity, when you export it, you're going to export some kind of flat file. PNG is probably best. You have to kind of play around with something to get it to the right resolution. So, um, for example, I figured out I needed to export this at 350 DPI or PPI to get something that was around HD resolution. So look right here. Um, about 2K wide, so just about what I need. 18,000 pixels high. So this is a big uh, uh, end title. So once you have that done, um, oh, and by the way, just to, to note something, um, a lot of people like to have something with uh, like leading spaces or, or something like that. Um, if you try to do that inside a non-layout program, you're going to have a really tough time. Um, but, for example, I can, in InDesign here, here I've got this little um, tabs stop. I can quickly put a space or a period there and make leaders like that. So I could, I could go to town here. Oops. And here's the whole cast. And I could click on this guy and put a liter of dot. And now look, that would take you forever <laughs> in another app to do something like that. So um, this works really well. Actually, um, Affinity Design uh, is able to do that as well. It's just a little bit tricky to, as far as finding that. You don't have a nice, nice tab stop like that. But anyway, um, InDesign works great for something like this. So I've exported this out. And I ended up with something that was rather big, as I was showing before. So let's go ahead and pop that into Final Cut. OK, here it is. So I'm going to, oh wait, you know what? I See, I've been doing this tutorial several times, so I need to, I'll just pop it right there <laughs> into this new project I made. There we go. So. Um, I've got this thing in my HD timeline. What do I do now to animate this? Well, um, oh, it's painfully easy. Um, I actually like to use Ken Burns to do this. Ken Burns works great, and also it allows for easy retiming. If you wanted to use keyframes for this, you'll see in just a minute why this is probably not the best idea. So let's go ahead and go into Ken Burns. I'll cl click on Crop, and then the Ken Burns tool. And I'm going to reduce this just to 50 so I can see a little bit more. OK, so I'm going to hold on the Shift key, grab my Start, and notice it's staying in line. Uh, one thing um, I don't want to do is you don't want to get over here, obviously. It's bad. So hold on Shift key will keep you nice and in line. And I want it to start up here, really in the black, because we, we don't want to see anything. So let's just put it right there. Now down here at the bottom, uh, again, hold on Shift key and my end, great. One last thing is change to linear. That's kind of a big deal to change that to linear. So let's hit done. And what do you know? We have scrolling tiles. So let's take titles. Let's take a look at this. It's a little quick, a little bit. <laughs> so here's where Ken Burns really comes in handy. Let's change the duration of this. Most of the time, you want to think about end credits. You're talking minutes. So let's try four minutes to start. I just hit Control-D to change that. Uh, now let's watch it. Ah, it looks pretty good. Now you wanted to adjust the time. Now here's the great thing about Ken Burns and Funnel Cut. Just keep it playing. And just go over here and 
change the time. And you'll instantly see what happens. So like, yeah, it looks pretty good right there. Bada bing. So that's our first little step. Uh, let's see how this ends. Now granted, we're gonna have, you know, some, let's have black and the beginning and the front of this. Boom, okay, great. Now we obviously wanna hold at the end. We don't wanna just sit there. Maybe we wanna fade out or something like that. Um, so let's start adjusting this. Now, if we just want to adjust this, how, how do you make it hold? Well, to make it hold, what you wanna do is make a compound clip. So compound clip, um, CC, great. Now you can freely adjust this. So let's go over here in the beginning and look at this. Okay, there we go, right there. I'm gonna option left bracket to top that clip. Okay, and I want it to hold right there. So part of the reason I put it in a compound clip too is now you can retime it. So Command R to retime. I'm going to get right to the frame that I want, and Shift H, or it's the same as hold. Great. So now I'm going to peel that off like that. So now I've got this hold. I can make it as long as I need it. Um, there. Now to make it stop really nicely, I want speed transitions. So I need to toggle speed transitions right here to get a speed transition, and then it will go right in place. Oh, that's beautiful, look at that. So that is the speed transition nicely in place. Ah, oh, actually it was fine before. Oops. Oh, what am I doing? This guy. It's a little tricky dealing with a hold. Best thing to do is just to snip it off at the end after you've dragged it out. But this will work. And let's say we even say we faded that out. Great. There you go. End titles all done. They look all snazzy. And uh, you are, are good to go there. Now, one thing you might realize too is you say, like, oh, this whole thing is just too big. Well, if that's the case, you really need to redo the Ken Burns and adjust the size of this. I wouldn't recommend it though. <laughs> what I would try to do is actually go back to your document and change the spacing here on the edge. And that way when it comes in, it's gonna be the full width. Um, as you're playing around with Ken Burns, you'll be able to figure that out. But anyway, this is a great way to work and uh, create end titles and uh, enjoy. Hope this helps in your title making endeavor.